Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a demo project, how you can make a number as a column in your table, but a clickable number with more details in a modal window. So what if, for example, you have products table with sales and you want to detailize what those five sales are, but you don't want to redirect to separate page like edit product or product view or info list or something like that. You just want to have this. Someone clicks, gets the model window with the information and gets back to the same table. Let me show you how to do that and also how to customize that model window. So we're working with a table of product resource here and in the column of sales, we override that column value with format state using, using sales count and filament would automatically use the width count from element here to calculate that five sales, which is has many relationship. But then action is the main thing we're talking about here. We make that column as an action, which means it's clickable. And then we specify that it is showing a model. And in that model, we specify a separate blade view what's inside. So we have record as a parameter, and then we specify the blade view with that record as a parameter to that blade. Inside that blade, we can do whatever, simple HTML, for example, a div with the list of sales, these. So sale user bought quantity with more details. Now be careful with showing more details because you may bump into N plus query issue with performance. So for example, record sales is a relationship and then sale user is another relationship. So you need to eager load everything related. So that's why in the main product resource on top, we have modify query using and we eager load the things that we need. So we load the sales user and also load with count of sales to be used here. Now another question is how can you customize that model window because by default all the models have two actions at the bottom submit and cancel and you can modify them here for example add to model so you can do model and as you can see there's model cancel action and model submit action. So for example let's disable the submit action and we can specify false here just for that so that would totally hide the button of submit and then in model cancel action, we may specify a callback function and override the label. So instead of cancel, we should call it close, right? So that action becomes a parameter here. And then we can return that action with label overriding it as close. That should work. Let's refresh and see what happens. So we refresh the table. We click here and we have this. No submit, no cancel, but just close, which does the same thing as you would click the X here on the top right. So yeah, this is how you can show additional information to your table in a quick modal window. And this is actually a video version of the text-based tutorial we published on filamentexamples.com. So for more text-based free tutorials and some premium projects, you can go to filamentexamples.com and check them all out. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.